Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do just to get ready with me because I'm going to get ready for the day and I thought why not just film it. Oh, I ache. It's coming up for that time of the month. I know it's TMI but such is life and I am really suffering with my skin. It's not something visible but to touch it, it's as dry as bone. The redness under my eyes and that and here at my lips, it's getting better. What I've been using is this dermal lotion that was actually given to my dad by the doctor. But it's still in date and it's a massive tub. And it says an antimicrobial emollient moisturiser for the management of dry and itchy skin conditions, especially eczema dermatitis. And you can use it as a soap substitute. So I've been slabbering it on my face. And it's literally just going into my skin. Which is telling me that it's proper dry. And then I've got... It's hard to show you. These little red patches here. And then like a... You're not going to see my ring light. But I've got like a heat rash there. And then under my breasts. And it's driving me cra crackers. So I don't know how I'm going to be with makeup on my face. But I'm going to put some on. So I've already done... I've used my Foreo and I have exfoliated just with a light exfoliation and I have cleansed my skin and I've put that cream on and for the moment actually, hold that thought, I'm going to put a little bit of lip balm on. I think a lot of lip balms just dry my lips out but it's more around the lips rather than on them but I'll put this on just now. This is one that was sent to me by the YouTuber Eltoria. It's Bloomtown Red and Berries. And the palette I'm going to use today is this one here. I received this in my sister swap with fellow YouTuber Riri. And I've never heard of this brand. And this is called Sugar by Face Candy. So this is my first time using it. Still got the plastic on. It's kind of, I'm going to show you one minute. Still in the room. Eek. It's kind of a dupe really for the Too Faced Sweet Peach. This is, if you see, that it's got similar colours. So at some point I want to do a comparison, maybe. But for today, I just want to focus on this one. I don't know if it's going to have lots of fall down, so I'm going to do my eyes first. Now I've got really dry eyelids. See this little skin tag here? Oh, I've got more than one now. Hold on. Hold on a goddamn minute. I need a mirror. I'm so unprepared. <laughs> Let me see. Oh no, it's just a bit of dryness. But I've got a skin tag here on my eyelid, which I've had forever. As I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to get any fall down on my face. So, what's this one? Uh, I don't really have a hydrating or moisturising primer, I don't think. I might put some of this Lumine Invisible Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint on at the moment just to give myself a bit of something to maybe see if it gives me a wee bit of radiance. A guy that I work with, well, let's face it, there's just me and one other girl in <laughs> keeping up my work. It's very male dominated, I don't know why, but Anyway, uh, he was just like, you know, sometimes I think you girls put too much products on your skin to keep it moisturised. He was like, so maybe that's what's drying it out. Maybe he's got a point, I don't know, but it's very irritating. I think the reason my skin has possibly gone like this is because the weather is getting cooler and then you come into the heat and I think my skin's just not loving it. Possibly that and maybe the chemicals I use at work or the heat there as well because it is a very roasting place. Who knows but it's driving me nuts because it's that kind of dryness that's sore, you know what I mean, and itchy and you're trying not to scratch it. You know, I take antihistamines and all that stuff. <laughs> And it's just five minutes. This is such a good product, by the way. I got it on Feel Unique Pick and Mix. And this is like 15 mils. It's so good. And I've got another one too. Right, so we've put that on. Oh, dear. As I say, I'm going to go into this first. Oh, sorry, I'm really uncomfortable today. 
in case there is any fall down and let's just do that i did have an eyeshadow primer but i'm not sure where it is maybe it's finished i saw all this door and then i just mess it all up again is that it there no okay i have no idea so my eyelids are drying off so i think it should adhere to it Right, so I'm just going to take this little brush and I think I will go into the shade Whipped Green, which is just like an off-white colour. And we'll put this all over the lid. Yes, there's quite a bit of kickback there. Oh, I'll just pop that all over my lid. It's a very dull hue on the Isle of Skye, what's new? I think I've got a freckle on my lid too. I don't know if you see it there. Or maybe it's the black mark. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go into Latte, which is the next shade up. And again, I'm just going to put this all over. So far already, I've got nothing on my eyes and I'm feeling a bit irritated here. So we'll just, this makeup might not last on my eye long, to be honest. It just drives me insane. I've never ever heard of this brand. I'll have to message Riri and ask her more about it maybe. Right, so let's take another little brush here. This is a Zoeva 228 a Lux crease brush but I'm just using it just to blend that just a tan. I'm not up to much today as per usual. I got up, what's the time now? I think it's quarter to 11. <coughs> Excuse me, I woke up at the back of nine. I decided to line my bed and read my book because why not? It's a day off. I have made a huge batch of bolognese and because I live on my own I'm going to portion it all. And later on, I think I'm going to make chicken curry for my dinner tonight while I'm watching Strictly Come Dancing. It's movie week. Whoop, whoop. And yeah, that's about it. Possibly film some other videos later on. I don't know. I'm going to do some more wallpaper uh, steaming in my dad's room over the weekend at some point. So, right. The next shade I think I am going to go into is glazed which is the one up at the top here i'm just going to keep using the same brush since they're all very neutral shades and we're just building up on the color i don't even know what i'm doing here i just wanted to use this palette because i haven't tried it yet she also got me a bh cosmetics palette which i'll get around to using but see because my skin's been so bad and a lot of the time when I'm filming a makeup look, I film it and then I'm literally taking it all back off. So I don't think that's good for my skin. <clears throat> Whereas on my days off, I wear the makeup for the rest of the day or as long as my skin will allow it. What else should we go on with? I think I'm going to take a little bit of this matte shade here called Candy. And I will go in lightly with it because I think it's going to be quite pigmented. Oh, it's not too bad actually. We'll just I saw Riri doing this where you just sort of pull it out a bit. I'll probably make an arse of it, but we'll give it a try, you know. God loves a trier. So the tale is. I've been looking for people to watch that are going to do Halloween looks. If you can suggest anyone, leave it in the comments because I am so shit at it, that, but I enjoy watching other people doing it. <clears throat> Even the simple ones, like I watch it and I think, oh, right, that's not too bad. I'll give it a go. And it's like, no, Joey, just don't do it, love, because you're making an arse of it. Because I literally just cannot do it. I've come to the conclusion that if you're artistic, like you can draw, you're creative, 
then you're really good at these things. And if you're like me and you can't draw to save yourself, then you should just leave it alone. I did a couple last year, I did like a, the one that I did with the zip, which I saw Lisa Porter Dixon do, she's a makeup artist, um, I think I did not too bad with that actually considering, but it still wasn't as good as hers. Right, then I think I am going to take some cherry pie, which is this colour here. I think I will get a flat brush for that, if I can find one. <clears throat> this is the MAC, I don't know what it is, but it's a flat brush because it's come off. And I'm going to try just putting it on with the brush first. I might have to wait it or maybe use my finger, but we'll just see. It's going on okay, but it's not picking up loads of pigment and it is falling down under my eyes a little bit so I'm glad that I did decide to do my eyes first. You see there? You can't really see. I've got my ring light on but you're, you're not really oh, overexposed Julie. Does that make it any better? Can you see any better? I don't know. But it's not picking up heaps of the colour. Really? Let's just blend that a wee bit. I think I will have to put it on with my like Fix Plus or something or try with my hand aim my finger rather. But I'm just patting it on. I should probably do a video of just doing swatches of this to show you the shades. I can always do that and maybe add that video in before you see this one. Or I could just swatch them when this one wasn't done, depending on what length this video is. All I will say is it's blending really well actually and my eyebrows are an absolute riot folks so you'll just have to forgive that. Okay I'm going to try using my finger. So this is the shade, it's just really subtle and I'm just going to use my finger oh, with it. This one is called Cherry Pie but it's really quite pink you know, it's not, like to me, cherry pie would be more of a burgundy or maybe a red colour. Hmm. I don't think it's anything to do with the quality of the eyeshadows. Like, you know, it feels nice and soft and buttery and that. It's just, it's not the most pigmented of shadows at all. Maybe I should have put concealer down under it. And then give it a blend so that it's not too messy. Oh, don't get the brush in your eye. Okay, for the now I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to move on to my foundation. The foundation of choice I'm going to use is my It Cosmetics CC Illuminator because this is just a nice lightweight one. I need to wet my sponge. And I'm just going to use my number seven sponge that you all know I love. I'm just going to pop some of the product onto the sponge and then we'll pop it all over the skin. This is nice and lightweight and it's also you know, got enough coverage that it's not too heavy on my skin, particularly with it being so dry, so I didn't want anything too harsh on there. With it being, yeah, there's a lot of fall down, and 
don't know if you can see, see all that dryness there? It's just clinging, everything's clinging to it. Such fun, such, such fun. Hopefully this dryness will bog off soon enough because it is doing my head in quite literally. Well, to be fair, my blackheads seem to be better from using that Foreo cleansing brush, like silicon cleansing brush, with my cleansers, rather than that stupid poor vacuum that I was sent to review off of Amazon, because that thing's crap. It really doesn't do anything. Well, I never got any gunk out anyway, which is sounds disgusting, but for me, if that's sick enough, product it's meant to be. That's what I want to see the results from it and I didn't see the results at all. I really recommend this it Cosmetics Cream because it is so nice. It's lightweight, it's got SPF in it even though we're in autumn now and it's just, it's just so nice and it just gives you that nice right amount of everything in it and it's a hydrating serum so hopefully fingers crossed it'll help as I say there's bits of my face that feel just a tad again this size the one that plays ball and this one doesn't because it decides to just not be the same Okay, I need a bit of colour correction, if I can find the colour corrector. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury colour corrector in number 2 medium. This is what it looks like. It's a creamy product and it just needs to work wonders for my darkness because it is an absolute ball ache. I had like really red eyes, like with the dry skin and that, really badly the other week. And I made the mistake of saying to Russell at work, is my eyes still red? And he went, no, but you've got black, black spots under it. And I'm like, yes, Russell, that's the black bags under my eyes. And he's like, well, yeah, you've got them. <laughs> I was like, never ask a boy. He was like, well, you did ask me. And I was like, yeah, I was asking you if it was red. I know very well that I have the dark, shadowy bags under my eyes. <laughs> this stuff's really good. And another one that I recommend is the Bobbi Brown. Yeah, I think it's called Intensive Colour Corrector or something or other. I haven't had that for a while since I used it, but this is good. And then I've also got a peach one by Urban Decay, but I ain't got a clue what it is, so. And then I am going to take this It's You Skin Perfecting HD Concealer by the brand Sista in Ivory. And this is just going to brighten, hopefully, under the eyes. It smells so lovely. I also got this in my swap box from Riri. I'm going to put that on there and then I'm just going to use the tip of my sponge and just lightly pat it into my eye, under the eyes. Just hopefully it'll brighten that area up and take away the dullness. But I've also got this little something or other here which is getting a little irritated. Hopefully I can keep this makeup on until at least later on tonight but we'll just have to see and for once I don't have lots of redness around my nose yay <laughs> okay I'm going to take this elf and this is an under eye setting powder and I'm going to take this little brush here it's Emacs designs it's a set that my dad got me a couple of Christmases ago 
on um, Amazon. But it's just the right kind of point there, just to get right under your eyes and set it. So that is that done. And now I am going to bronze my skin. And I've been loving this one at the moment. I got this in my latest in beauty picks. This is the MUA bronze, matte bronzer in solar. And it looks like so. Another thing I've just been loving doing is taking bronzer and putting it <coughs> um, on my eyelids. I know people have been doing that for forever and a day, but Julie's late to the party. And the last time I went down to Bruce's, I actually, it was an impromptu visit. Like I hadn't planned to go down. So I ended up stupidly in the hurry packing, forgetting to pack an eyeshadow, believe it or not, even though I've got a shit ton of it. So I was like, right, I'll just have to use my bronzer. And I actually really loved how it turned out. I was watching um, makeup artist Hannah Martin last night and she was saying like see if you put more bronzer on your forehead it makes it seem like it's receding so that your forehead isn't so big so I was like oh happy joy happy this brush is Brushworks HD and I got this in my Christmas stocking last year and I'm not sure where it's from but I just like this bronze it's enough but it's not too much and then for highlight I don't think I brought a highlighter over where is that stuff did I bring highlight yes I did for highlight I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty this is girl next door and chic freak and this is what they look like well loved and I tend to just mix the two together and pop them on my face. I don't think I'm going to do anything to my eyebrows because they're an absolute riot. I don't know if that's the postman I'm hearing. I don't think this brush is putting it on very well but anyway. got the glow slightly subtly and then blush I don't have a blush here to hand it's over there and I don't have to go out of camera again but let's go back to the eyes I want some brown eyeliner so I'm going to use this Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade Hustle and we're gonna take it with my waterline I also blame central heating quite a lot for, you know, the skin dryness. So that's nice and subtle. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to wet this flat brush and see if I can intensify the colour of this cherry pie shade and see if it'll make the colour stand out that little bit more on my lids. As I say, we don't want anything too over the top because that's not what we're all about today. But you want to be able to see the colour. So I definitely think they blend well, but they're not the most pigmented shades well that I've tried so far anyway. That's slightly better, isn't it? Okay, let's give that a tiny blend. I always feel that if you blend too much, just see if you blend too much with it, it's blending away to nothing. That's the problem. 
but I suppose it's just going to be subtle. And then there isn't really a highlight shade in here, I don't think. So I'm going to just move on to mascara. So mascara for today, I am going to use one of my faves. This is the Benefit Roller Lash in Brown and I love it. I'm loving brown mascara. I think for certain looks, you've got to use black mascara. But for other subtle looks, a nice brown mascara is all that is needed. Sorry. I mean, look at that compared to that eye because I don't have the base eyelashes, but I can't be arsed to wear false lashes. They're just not my bag at all. Yeah, I won't be doing swatches in this video because <laughs> we're at 26. So that's that. It's a nice, subtle eye look. And then I'm going to use my new Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Illuminating Powder in Nude, which looks like so. And we're going to pop this on our face. This is great. This is my second one. You know, sometimes I just don't think you need blush. Everyone seems to be obsessed with that NARS orgasm, right? Well, I've got it. I've got it here. I've got like a sample of it. But I just think it's too much. We'll maybe just pop a bit of it on since we've got it here. But, I don't know. I just think it's more of a highlighter than it is a blush. It's got too much glitter in it, I would say, for it to be a blush. Hey ho, I don't know, what do you think? As I say, a lot of people are pretty obsessed with it. But I don't know. Okay, and then I'll leave that to set. Eyebrows, as I say, I'm not going to do anything with because they're an absolute riot. And then lipstick-wise, I've decided to use my MAC... This is called Daddy's Girl and this is a Love Me lipstick and I think it's quite moisturising. It doesn't say whether it's matte or what have you, but hopefully it won't be. It feels nice and creamy. That's a nice colour, isn't it? And then we're going to use the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Put everything together. And that is me. I'm not going to take my hair down just now because it's needing dry shampoo and different things. But this is my finished look using this palette that I got from my swap sister. So what do you think? It's just a very subtle kind of like brown toned at the top, peachy brown toned with this shade here, which is called Cherry Pie. As I say, it's not the most pigmented. I've used my finger, I've sprayed the brush, but it blended really well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, it's totally free. Click the bell button to be notified when I upload and I will speak to you very soon and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.